Welcome to one of the most beautiful tiny homes that could be yours. Let's go take a tour. Nisha, we have my assistant here today. Nisha. <clears throat> and here we have um, a patio that you can just bring up as you transport Tina the tiny, I call her Tina, um, to any state or if you want to travel with her or bring her to your backyard. This easily folds up and down and creates a nice little patio for you. So, welcome to the living room. This is a low zen couch. The reason it's a low zen couch is so that the Murphy bed can um, come down without needing to move the couch. So they're kind of built together in synchrony. This little couch is great whether you want to do a TV dinner or do some co-working. If not, of course, we do have the table and this. Um, you can close it and open it at your will. And when you do the Murphy bed, you just snap it closed. So we have a TV here also that swivels, which is nice. So if you take the bed down and you want to do a movie night, or if you're down on the Zen couch, you can move that around and watch your favorite show, Ted Lasso. Just kidding. And here we have some um, coat hooks, a little storage space where you could put more hooks for keys, and also these um, stools fold up and you can put one in here, one in here. And this is a similar storage space for stools and or um, to put little hooks. Speaking of storage, I mean, there is so much storage in here. We have all of this here. You could put books, items, baskets for more storage. We have extra storage on the side. And I'm going to finish this video by showing you all the Murphy bed. But first, let's take a tour of the rest of the tiny home. So here coming through this hall, you have the space for a big fridge, lots of storage on top, on the bottom. There's room for an air fryer oven, microwave, whatever variation, or if you wanted both. If not, that's extra storage. All sorts of room in the pantry. And again, this is all hardwood oak really high quality materials went into this tiny home. It was built by two architects here in Colorado. <clears throat> we have a Lazy Susan for pots and pans, a bunch of drawers, and then room under the sink, of course, for your recycling, trash, and cleaning products. Here we also have lots of room for your closet and your clothes. Two full-size closets with plenty of basket space for your underwear, your socks, your products. Again, no shortage of storage space here. And here, you have the option of putting an all-in-one small compact washer and dryer. All the hookups are there. Um, but I chose to just do the bin and have extra uh, storage space. Um, and do my laundry at the laundromat. This guy is super important. I recommend a mini Dyson for any tiny home owner because it is, one of the pros of a tiny home is it's a little cleaning because it's a small space, but it also accrues dirt very quick. So this is a great addition to any tiny home. Um, we have the loft up here. And that's gonna have a full-size bed, a little meditation slash library space, and then the bathroom back here. We're gonna take you up into that loft, but first let's, let's look at what's behind this yellow door. Full-size shower. Um, it is a tankless water heater system, which is excellent. We have a sliding yellow door. This is all cast iron and oak for privacy and a composting toilet. The brand is Nature's Head. It's awesome. 
Um, but there also is hookups if you want to put a traditional um, sewer toilet system. So you're set up for whatever is best for you. I personally love the composting toilet and it's more off the grid. Um, plenty of storage down here. Misha, go inside. No. And let's take a little sneak peek at the loft before we show you the Murphy bed, which is my favorite feature. just break down and again put in the storage right here. I'll just throw these to the side and get ready, get set. queen size Murphy bed, which if you come a little closer, you can see how movie nights are incredible in Tina the Tiny. <clears throat> and you have little charging stations on both sides with book nooks. Um, and so this is great whether you want to use it as an Airbnb and have more space during the day and folks can just put the bed down at night, or if you just want to better use the space um, and live in it full time, I think it's a really incredible feature. So that's the Murphy bed and your tour is done. Um, give us a call or message us if you have any questions about Tina the Tiny.